It had been years since I'd last set foot on my family's land. My father was never an easy man to get along with, but I knew how much this hunt meant to him. I had no idea what was waiting for us in those cold woods. No idea that my life was about to change forever. Open your eyes, son. Feast your gaze upon one of the finest sights in all creation. The first time we walked these woods, you boys were just pups. And I had to carry you up the trail on my shoulders. You wanted to hold my rifle, but your hands were too small for the trigger. Your ancestors were among the first settlers to lay eyes on those hills. For seven generations, the Rainsfords have hunted these woods, fished in these streams. This land is in our blood. Listen, boys. The wind is talking. It says, Welcome home. I thought I heard the wind say something about picking up a sandwich before we hump all the way out here. I don't know what passes for hunting with those yahoos in town, but up here we do things differently. No eating, no jawing, and so help me, if I hear that cell phone of yours go off... I'm not the one who needs a hunting lesson, Dad. Cole here can't remember the last time he chased anything that wasn't wearing a skirt. Your brother has a point, Cole. How long has it been? You do remember which end the bullets come out of, right? Uh, why don't you start with some target practice? Put a few rounds down range with that new rifle of yours. See if you remember what I taught you. Here comes a flock of geese. Let's see how you handle that shotgun. Hmm. Not bad. Of course, you'll never be the marksman your brother here is. I suppose that can't be helped. You favor your mother's side of the family. She wasn't cut out for this country. Oh, I expect she's more comfortable down south with her shopping malls and tofu salads. Now, what about you, boy? You turned vegetarian yet? <laughs> My father brought me here on my 18th birthday, just as his father brought him. For 200 years, every son of this family has proven his manhood by a hunter's rite of passage, as was the custom of the local tribes. We've heard this story a hundred times, Pop. Don't interrupt me, boy. You listen up. Today isn't just about coal. It's about the future of this family. We own the land you're standing on, and everything you can see. One day, it'll all be yours. But only if you can prove yourself worthy of that legacy. You can start by showing proper respect for this family's traditions. I'll make you proud, sir. I swear it. Well, I have no doubt about that. <clears throat> but today is your brother's day. I tracked a six-by-six six bull up here last night. He's yours, if you can take him. Go on now. We'll be listening for the sound of your shot. I expect a clean kill.
Not bad, bro. Well, that's a clean kill. Could be you got some of me in you after all, boy. Quickly now. We need to do this fast, while the blood's still warm. Oh, it's uh, kind of gross. Gross? Boy, that there is a delicacy. Breakfast is served. Fresh elk heart. Bon appetit. Can I try some? No, this here is Cole's heart. You'll get yours when the time comes. That's the spirit. Tastes good, don't it? The scent of a kill can carry for miles up here. We need to get this bull hung and dressed before something smells- Dad! Behind you! Are you alright, Pop? I think Cole just saved your life. You never leave a wounded animal running loose in the woods! You shoot an animal, you shoot to kill. Come on, Pop. Cole was just... No excuses, no exceptions. Here's the blood trail. Cole, you are gonna track this cat. Your brother and I will circle around and cut for sign. If we see him, we'll flush him your way. Get moving. Looks like you're going home with two trophies today. This isn't about trophies. A wounded predator is a deadly serious matter. Pain makes the beast violent and unpredictable. A fact I am reminded of every time I look in the mirror. How come you never talk about those scars, Pop? You got those in Africa, right? It appears we have uninvited guests. Smells like poachers. Go. You take the left. Adrian, you go right. I'll come around from the back. They're all dead. Oh god. You don't think that cougar we shot? No mountain lion did this. Fire's still warm. No more than 12 hours. Looks like hikers. Three men and a woman. They must have been lost. They're probably still here, sleeping off the meal. What could have done this, Pop? 
You tell me. Spread out. Look for trail sign. something it's a grizzly bear no doubt about it a grizzly something wrong pop nothing it's just just not what I expected I know this might sound strange dad but I don't think this is a coincidence what's that supposed to mean we need to go after this bear dad stop this grizzly before it kills somebody else it seems your brother doesn't agree well, give me that look, Cole. I'm not your kid brother anymore. I can track and shoot better than you. I'm going after that bear. Alone, if I need to. You won't be alone. We'll hunt this bear together. If you have a problem with that, Cole, feel free to hike back to the lodge and pack your bags. But if you walk away now, don't you ever come back. Came from up there. Wait, who's your fire? Oh, fool, boy! Avalanche, get moving! <laughs> 